Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, I'm going to talk about what acceleration means. So if you have seen my previous um, gaming educational videos, you would know that speed is how fast you're moving. So this guy is walking right now, so his speed is not very fast. But if I start running, then his speed has increased. Um, so he's running faster. But if he's walking, then he is running slower. So let's now talk about what acceleration is. To accelerate means to change your speed. That's basically what acceleration is. So if I'm going from standing still, which means my speed is zero, to moving, so if I start walking, that instant when I start moving, I've just changed my speed. So I've accelerated. Now, if I'm already walking, so I'm walking right now at a constant speed, so my speed is not changing. I'm walking at the same speed, so there is no acceleration right now. But if I start to run, and my speed starts changing, so if I run right now, okay, I've just accelerated just accelerate it for that moment in time but now that I'm running at a constant speed uh, my movement uh, is the same right the speed is the same because I'm running at a constant speed so there is no acceleration now if I um, slow down to a stop so if I slow down at all then there is uh, the opposite of acceleration which is deceleration or you can just call it a negative acceleration and then if I come to a stop that's a deceleration again so my speed is zero so let's talk about how to actually measure acceleration so I'm just gonna go grab a car so you can see I'm currently in my car and um, if you start driving you'll see that the speed the speedometer at the bottom changes so the indicator changes so as long as the speed is changing you have an acceleration so um, let's go back to the speed being zero to calculate the acceleration, what you would do is you would measure the change in speed and you divide that by the change in time. So let's see how long it takes for the car to accelerate from a speed of zero to 100 kilometers per hour on the freeway. So you can see it shows the current speed. Currently we're at 60 something kilometers per hour and the car takes fourteen seconds to speed up fourteen seconds to speed up from zero to a hundred kilometers per hour so let's now do a bit of math and write that down as a value for acceleration so I'm going to show you guys how to calculate the acceleration. Now there are some assumptions that come with this method of calculating acceleration which I'll talk about at the end. So we have the formula acceleration equals change in speed over change in time. So then, what is the change in speed? Well, if you guys remember, the change in speed is from 0 to 100 kilometers. So, um, the change in speed is 100 kilometers per hour. Now, the change in time was 14.361 seconds. Now, here's a problem. Because on the top we have kilometers per hour, on the bottom we have seconds. These are not the same units. So let's change it to the same units. So um, let's firstly change the kilometers per hour to meters per second. So how do we do that? Well, we have 100 kilometers per hour, which is 100,000 meters 
per hour, which is 3,600 seconds, all right, because an hour is 60 minutes, um, what each minute is 60 seconds, so 60 times 60 is 3,600, divided by 14.361 seconds. And now what we need to do is type all this into, cal into the calculator. So we're going to type the top bit in first. So we have 100,000 divided by 3,600, which is 27.777 on the top. So it's 27.77 meters per second. That was the change in speed. And then the change in time is 14.361 so let's um, type that in so divide that by 14.361 and the answer is 1.93 so we got 1.93 now what units is it so you can see on the top we have meters per second and then on the bottom we have second again so then what that means is you can either write it as 1.93 uh, meters per second squared because meters divided by second the s will go down to the bottom or you can just write 1.93 meters per second squared like this with s to the power of negative 2 so there are two different units for I mean uh, two ways of writing the same thing for acceleration okay so that's how you calculate the acceleration now let's talk about the assumptions so we are assuming that the acceleration is constant we're assuming during this 14.361 seconds it's speeding up at the same rate that might not always happen as you can see when i was driving sometimes during the 14.361 seconds maybe i was trying to dodge another car so I'm, the acceleration might have changed this doesn't take that into account now if you want to know how to calculate instantaneous acceleration you probably need to watch my calculus tutorials to do that okay thanks for watching guys see you next time